This video is especially for European citizens planning on traveling to the States. Did you know that there are several things you need to prepare before you go to the U.S.? We don't want any surprises, do we? Hello Hoppers! Welcome to Mucho Hop and guess where I'm hopping to next? The USA! The USA! I'm going to Miami next week and as I was preparing all my papers and getting everything ready for my trip, I said, hey, let me do a video. It's quite easy. Um, and then you have to pack, okay? That's all you need. Not much, huh? Okay, let's take this step by step. First thing you need is your plane ticket, okay? It's always been like this, nothing has changed. Just that now you can get it on the internet. It's an e-ticket. Passport. I have a Spanish passport. And as I was like getting all my papers ready, I realized that it was expired. So just make sure that it's a valid passport to get it right away, no problem. As you all know, there are very strict entry regulations now in the United States. And before you depart, you have to inform the U.S. authority that um, you're going to the United States and you have to give them a U.S. address. This is called an ESTA, which is an acronym that stands for Electronic System for Travel Authorization. Under the Visa Waiver Program, uh, European Union members do not need a visa to go to the United States. But you do need to apply for authorization to travel into the States using the ESTA website, no less than 72 hours before you leave. This authorization is valid for two years and you pay $14 for it. You need to add advanced passenger information to your booking, that's API. In other words, before you fly, airlines are required to give passenger information to the Department of Homeland Security. This is the paper version, but I filled it out on the website of the airline I'm flying with. See, that wasn't so bad. Make sure that you realize that these are really important documents. You need to have them before you leave, and if you don't, then you won't be able to fly. So and now I have some, um, my own recommendations that, um, you know, things that I've learned through the years and that I think could be helpful for you. If you have a European appliance or like a blow dryer, for example, you take it to the States and you can't use it because the plug is different and the voltage is different. The plugs in Europe are round like this, they're rounded, and the plugs in the United States are flat. Okay, so you need adapters for your plugs. But this might not be enough because since the voltage is different, you need um, like your blow dry, for example, should have like a little switch that you can switch it for the two different currents. That's just the way it is. Chargers usually have like a, a transformer that allows for inputs uh, between like 100 and 240. So this will be fine. Your, your computer is not going to blow up. Uh, all you need is to put in the adapter and then you're ready to plug it in into the wall socket. Okay? So no problem. One of the things I recommend when you go to the States is to turn off the roaming because um, then when you get your telephone bill you'll be sorry that you didn't turn, turn the roaming off. So uh, I recommend that you go to a place or that you stay at a place where they have Wi-Fi because as you know, Wi-Fi is free and you won't be charged with these roaming fees. And the next thing you need is mula mula mula, you need money. You have to exchange money, you have to change your euros into the exchange rate right now uh, is 100 euros would be 
about $133. You could either get them at an ATM machine or you can get them at your bank when you're in Europe. Now check the rates because some places have commission, charge you commission. Um, so just check the different rates. Pack light. Uh, have some comfortable shoes, a few jeans and a sweater. Check the weather before you go, that's usually a good recommendation. I always check the weather to see what kind of weather they're having. It's okay, you're all packed, you have all your papers, now you go to the airport and you have to go through security check. They check your carry-on luggage. Okay, basically you can't have any sharp items, so no scissors, no pen knives, nothing like that. And also you can't carry uh, large amounts of liquids. Uh, all your creams and liquids, they have to be in small containers and less than 100 milliliters each. And they have to all go in a transparent Ziploc bag, okay, that shouldn't be more than a liter, so that's like about a quart. So you have to put all your little containers inside the plastic bag and you put you have to show that bag with your liquids to the security authority. You take your computer out if you have a computer, an iPad or whatever. You have to put it on a separate tray also. And then on another tray you have your your bag, your carry-on bag and your coat and whatever. You have to take uh, your coat off. Sometimes they ask you to take your shoes off, especially if you're wearing wedges because, you know, you can be hiding drugs in there or whatever. So they check for that too. You go through the, all your stuff goes through the x-ray machine. You go through the metal detector. And if it beeps, then they frisk you. Everything is clear. You go on the plane. You enjoy your flight. And then you, when you get to the States, you have to go through immigration. When you get there, they usually um, they usually say, okay, U.S. citizens to the left and permanent residents and visitors to the right, and you go in the appropriate line. And uh, then when it's your turn, the uh, immigration agent asks you a few questions. Basically, if you're there on work or pleasure or whatever, and I usually say, oh yes, I'm, I'm here visiting my family and this and that, I'm so glad to be back, whatever, whatever. They're usually pretty nice, but you know, sometimes they're a little intimidating because they're very serious and but they're okay. Just answer the questions. Then they take a fingerprint, an electronic fingerprint. They scan your, your finger and then they say, please look forward. And you look forward and they take a picture of your eye. And you don't have to smile for that. I mean, you could smile, but you know, because I do that sometimes, it's sort of silly. Okay, so you are clear through immigration. And the next thing you have to do is go through customs. This is a form you have to complete and present at U.S. Customs. Um, you have to provide general information about your name, your U.S. address, passport number, and then they ask you questions if you have any food, plants, or if you've been in contact with livestock. Uh huh. Then on the other side, you have to write the total value of all the goods you are bringing into the United States and that will remain in the United States. And they say, do you, have any, do you have any food? No. Do you have any plants? No. Do you have any explosives? No. Do you have any firearms? No. So um, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope all this information was useful. I hope you didn't fall asleep. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any. I have a whole bunch lined up. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you for watching. Okay. Happy travels, and I'll see you soon, Hoppers. Bye!